How many guys is too many at one time? The number does not exist. You can handle just, <laughs> just infinite, <laughs> infinite amount of men. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Maybe like, yeah, five, six, seven, five, eight, six, nine. Seven. I don't know. I mean, I took nine. It depends how long I take them for, you know. Mm -hmm. There's different variables. She's a very skilled young lady. <laughs> how many women is too many women? The number does not exist. It's the same thing. You just handle an infinite amount of ladies. Yeah. I, I don't even want to have to deal with that many women. <laughs> I'm sure I got a limit. I feel like more than three, I'd be over it. Actually, I don't know. I might be I lying know. to myself. That just might be the laziness. The more talking. girls, the better. I did like a reverse gangbang. I don't know if I can say that. Um, with seven girls and one guy, and it was a blast. That's a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. I feel like I wouldn't be mad about it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what are red flags when dating? Ooh, red flags when dating. Um, just any kind of toxic behavior. Um, acting jealous or trying to make me jealous or controlling. Yeah, whenever someone becomes controlling, it's like, okay, this never goes anywhere positive. Never. <laughs> it's like it's like where are we going from here you know how far is this control it's all that's all it is it's just a matter of time where you're gonna see like how far the controlling will just be taken yes and i feel like and they'll people, try to push it oh yeah and i feel like it's almost a challenge for controlling people to want to see like how far can i take this controlling mm -hmm. tactic what male traits attract you what male traits attract me um a nice smile um being a gentleman and having good manners. You like having the car door open for you. And, yes. You if know. you don't open the car door for me, you're never going to see me again. Ooh. You better open that car door. <laughs> <laughs> it costs nothing. It says a lot about your character. It's pretty, because like that's just so old school, you know, that I like doing it just to like, surprise the girl, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to do it all the time. I feel like it's kind of just like overkill, but like there's those special moments where it's like, I got you. If, if you walk her to her Uber, you know, if you're already there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of like me driving, you know, like I said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if you're on you know? opposite sides, that's one thing. But if you're walking a girl to her car or something. Yeah, yeah, that's different. You go to the Uber, it's right there, you know, it's mm -hmm. very easy. What's the best way to keep a man happy? Ooh, what's the best way to keep a man happy? It's a million dollar question. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> You're just um, completely clueless. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> and this is why she's single. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. This is why she doesn't do relationships. <laughs> How, I, can I ask you the same question? How to keep a woman or a how man? Do, yeah, man how happy. how would I keep a man happy? <laughs> uh, I like you know like as man we like someone who's like understanding who is um, someone <laughs> who isn't demanding of things and kind of lets you live your life as well as like <laughs> <laughs> someone who gives great head. <laughs> yeah, that's important. See, I would someone say who's that. Someone's down to bank all the time. <laughs> No, I mean, there's a lot, a lot to it. You know, like I like a girl who is, uh, who's confident, who's understanding, who is willing to go out of their way, you know, for things and doesn't make it feel like you always have to do everything for them. Like uh, uh, someone who's very reciprocate, will reciprocate the energy that you put out. You know, I hate when I start talking to a girl and it's like I'm constantly the one like putting in all the effort and like they, they just want that chase because it's right. like I'm not, I'm not gonna chase somebody. So it's like, it's a nice breath of fresh air when someone reciprocates that energy and like shows that like they have just as much interest in you as you have in them and like they go out of their way to free time up in their schedule to see you and you know all, like all those little things. guys want the chase. Toxic dudes? Like if you're into those games it's coming from like a toxic place you know it's never healthy to to go down that route. <laughs> like for me I just I don't play games so like a girl that plays games I'm just like I play that game with her by just not playing it at all. Right. So it's like you can't play any game if I'm not playing into meeting it. you halfway. Yeah. And it's like 
you'll see that they'll either just get bored of it and be done with it, which tells you, you know, you dodged a bullet, or they're going to just realize, like, oh, okay, this isn't, like, he's not about this. And then they might like right. it even more because, like, oh, okay, I don't, <laughs> I don't need to go through all of this. We're, like, they're used to, Usually it's, like, I feel like it's a protective mechanism, you know, where it's, like, they want to know, they want to figure out stuff, and they it goes down this kind of toxic rabbit hole of <laughs> game playing. No one wants to deal with it. Do you want to deal with games? No. No games. Do you play games? No. <laughs> nope. The way you said that makes me, makes me wonder. <laughs> I don't date. That's true. You just say you don't really date, so. Yeah, I haven't dated in four years. 